All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial here on this channel. Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how to fix something in Minecraft that may occur to you. This occurred to me and I had to fix it. It took a while, but I'm just gonna show you guys in a very quick video. Um, I literally just recorded this and there's like not enough uh, space on my disc. So in the middle of the video, I was like halfway through it, uh, my recording stopped. So I'm literally gonna to have to do this all over again. So if I sound like annoyed or something like that, that's probably why. Um, and as you can see, the time is 2 a.m. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how to do this. And real quick, if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure to check if you are. And if you aren't, um, then do it right now. Or you'll have nothing. It's just to subscribe. It helps me a lot. Um, but anyway, we're just going to get right into this video. All right, so the first thing you want to have, of course, is the shaders. So I'm just going to go to Google Chrome, and I'm going to search up my favorite shaders. It's the Soldiers Shaders. I'm not sure if that's how to pronounce it. Uh, I'll probably leave a link in the description. Um... But as soon as you're on this home page right here, as you can see, it'll show some like uh, screenshots, and they are very good because even my computer, I have like a GTX 1050 and a i5 8400, and only eight gigs of RAM. I can run this really good. So, but even with you guys watching these videos, I'm gonna I'm saving up for a new graphics card right now, or I might buy a new RAM because I only have eight gigs. Um, so yeah, even you watching this video is helping me out. So anyway, as soon as we're on this home page. I'm just going to click on so there's vibrant shaders extreme volumetric lighting um this is like the most extreme one i do believe um and I, my pc like i said it's not that great um but they can still run this so i'm just going to click on download right here and an add focus thing will pop up don't click anything on here and uh, it'll tell you to wait like five seconds and you're just going to click on the skip button and as you can see silders private uh vibrant shaders i don't know why i can't speak um download it's only 132 kilobytes um so you're just going to download this right here and a little google chrome thing will pop up but you should press x on that now as you can see mine downloaded is a zip file automatically and if yours downloaded as like a .jar file um then i'll show you guys how to fix that right now because that might occur too so you're just going to go in your search bar right here and just search up control panel it's a little app right here and you're just going to go to programs uh default programs associate a file type or protocol with a program and you're just going to click on this little settings thing it should load up pretty fast and choose default apps by file type and you're just going to open that and i'm not sure how long this will take it's a very big list so it might take a little bit um so yeah i'll catch you guys as soon as this is done and this step right here will come in handy because if you guys don't have optifine installed which you probably do you probably have shaders and optifine installed and everything like that if you're on this video um, but I'm showing the people that don't have it, um, and for whatever reason are on this video. So you're, as soon as you're on this list, you're just going to go all the way down to the J, and it should be right underneath, right here, right underneath the I, and it's like the first one on the J. Um, and as you can see, you're just going to click on WinRAR, and yours might be on Java, um, so you're just going to click on the WinRAR one. Mine's already on that, so I don't have to do anything. And as soon as you do that, you can minimize, because if... If you don't have Optifine installed, just minimize it. But if you do, you can close out. But I'm going to minimize it because I have to use it in a minute. So basically, as soon as that's done, you can download it as a zip file. And next, I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine. So you're just going to search up Optifine. And um, right here, Optifine.net. And then go to Downloads. And as you can see, 1.16.1. You're just going to press Mirror. And as you can see, download Optifine optifine and it should download and if it doesn't download as a jar file or like a little coffee logo i'm going to show you guys how to do that again so you're just going to go back in your settings and you're going to set the jar file to java and you can reinstall this just click install and as you can see it's completely fixed so i'm just gonna there it is that's completely fixed uh, i'm going to put mine back on to the actual what's it called winrar if this will load, it's taking a minute for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I think we're good. And basically, I'm just going to close out of that. Everything's good. And that's how you install Optifine and the shaders. Now I'm going to show you guys how to put them in Minecraft. All right, so as soon as you do those, if you don't have those already, uh, you're just going to go into your Minecraft launcher right here. And you're just going to load up your Optifine, which basically when you download Optifine, it takes you through a little quick process. It's like very simple. It just shows you what to do. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna load up the Optifine right here, and um, basically as soon as that's up, you're just gonna press play. I'm not sure how long Minecraft will take for you to load. For some reason, my PC is being pretty fast right now. I'm not sure why. Probably because I literally just cleared like almost every single. 
of video on my um, storage, so it might be faster because of that. Uh, I'm not sure, but I probably do need to get like an SSD or more like um, storage and stuff like that because it might be a reason why my PC is slow because I just cleared a lot. I think I just cleared like only 32 gigabytes, which is maybe a lot. I'm not sure, and it literally my PC is being a lot faster than normal, so maybe it's because of that. But as you can see, we are in Minecraft right here, just the normal version with Optifine. Uh, who you will tell is it says Minecraft 1.16.1 modded, and I'm just gonna put this. Actually, I don't need full screen because I'm gonna do something in a moment here. So basically, we're just gonna go into options and video settings, and then we're just gonna click shaders and shaders folders. And as you can see, I have all these shaders already. Um, but really quickly, I'm just gonna minimize um, Minecraft if I can do that here. So if I click this, there we go, and then I'll just stretch this down so I can make Minecraft windowed because for some reason it's not going to allow me to do that. Alright, so I'm just going to minimize it uh, if I can. There we go. I'm just going to make it very small just so I can see everything. I like doing that a lot better. Um, so basically, what you're going to do is with this right here, the shaders that you downloaded, you're just going to click on like minimize or whatever. And you're just going to drag and drop it into here. As you can see, I already have it, so I don't need it. Um, so basically, you're just going to drag it in there, and it should load up. If it's a WinRAR run, then all you have to do is click on the right-click it, and just press Extract Files, and it should extract them. And you can delete the WinRAR thing. Um, but basically, that's how you do that. And still, if it doesn't show up, then basically what we're going to do is go your shaders thing. And if it's on internal, make sure to put it on off, because if it's on internal, that's what happened to me. And the shaders did not show up. And even if they still don't show up, just restart your game. Or press done. And go back into it. And it should be there. So if you guys have any questions on that, uh, make sure to let me know. Uh, I'll show you guys the gameplay with the solder shaders right here. Because you guys probably want to see what they look like. And um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what they look like. And I'll show you guys my FPS and everything like that. Just show you guys how well my PC performs with it on the highest settings possible with this. Alright, so we're just going to put it in survival, we're just going to put cheats on, we're just going to load up a completely normal world, just the shaders, then nothing else, um, and I have a GTX 1050, like I said, i5, 8400, and 8GB and of RAM, I'm not sure if I already said this, I could have said it already, but I'm not sure if I said it in the last time I recorded this or not, but anyway, I'm just going to load in here, for some reason, this whole time glass is being weird, so something's being slow on my computer right now. Okay, as you can see, uh, my frames are unlimited, and this is with the cylinder shaders on. It looks very, very nice. Um, this is just normal Optifine with the cylinder shaders. As you can see, the water looks incredible. Um, it's probably, I usually get about 100. It's because I'm recording, probably, um, or something's going on with my PC that I don't know about. Um, but yeah, very good frames for the highest possible one. I kind of want to try, not in this video, obviously. But I kind of want to try the lowest settings one and to see the difference in quality and FPS. Um, so if you guys want to see that, make sure to leave a like. Um, but that was pretty much a basic video on how to do that. As you can see, um, these plants are moving. Everything is super realistic. And um, that's how you do that. So if you guys want any more tutorials or you guys are stuck and it didn't work for you, make sure to comment down below and leave a like on this video. And we will see you on the next one. Peace out.